Hey everybody, we're going to do a little preview here for uh, the Breeders Connection sale of DNH Cattle Company. It's going to be on Wednesday, March 6th, and we're going to go over each lot here and give you a little preview of uh, what we're going to be looking at. The first lot is going to be 94E, a Showtime Sun, out of bar 13, bar 494. Uh, this is going to be a full brother to buck autism, and I'll let HD go from here on uh, tell you a little bit about this calf. Uh, 94E, he's a black lineback bull got a little hump and got a nice little brammer look to him he'll weigh 14 50 probably maybe 1500 now he's pretty heavy but uh he might even be a little heavier than that but he's uh he's a nice kind he's um tight made and like i said he's got a little brammer look he's pretty cool looking little guy and, uh we bred him uh, actually uh robert my brother-in-law Robert White put him on a set of cows, and we bucked a couple of yearlings, or yeah, coming yearlings by him the other day, and they were really good. They, I think they both went right, but there were a couple <laughs> out there that got there and extended, kicked, and got off the ground and had the intensity, and just just out of two trips, they both hooked up and bucked. So yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty nice to see that you're not going to put a whole lot of running through and all that business in them, but they, they were pretty natural and got off the ground. They looked a whole lot like uh, buck autism when they are bucking. Yeah. And as far as uh, lameness goes and that, he's he gets around good. Uh, he's got a little age on him. What's that put him? It's coming seven-year-old, seven. I think. Yep. So um, I don't know that the guy couldn't buck him, but I don't think that's his going to be his calling in life. But... He probably hadn't been bucked but once or twice in his life, so it sure wouldn't be fair to say he wouldn't make a bucking bull, but he's got a little age on him. I think the breeding pins where he belongs. And we go into lot number two here. This is page K7, sired by 32Y Sweet Pros Bruiser, over page 710 slash E, which uh, is the damn 10G Turner Burner, I do believe. And uh, the Turner Burner calves have been outstanding. Everybody knows about Bruiser. There's not much more a guy can say about him. And um, I've had the opportunity to see this calf a few times. And he looks sure enough to be the part, especially for a breeder. And mm -hmm. and what he can do as a bucking bull, I think there's a lot on yeah, the table no, there. for sure. We bucked him, I don't know how many times, five, six times, seven times with a dummy maybe. And... He wants to go right. He wants to. He. I think he's gonna be a, a bucking bull, but but uh, I think he's sure enough. Uh, a fly will be a heck of a breeding bull, and you know we've bred a lot of two year olds over the years and and got along good doing it. And they'll you can breed 30, 40 cows with them, and they'll they'll do good and they'll stay together good. We we've, we've always had pretty good success with breeding two year old bulls and. I think the traits you're gonna get from Bruiser over this 710 cow is gonna be something pretty cool. It's double bred Showtime, and that price list back in there, it's it's good stuff. Like you said, that's the damn the Turner Burner, and I've been pretty excited about them and the, and double bred Fire Show. I, I don't know. I mean, double bred Showtime Fire Show on the bottom is is always a plus, and I think this calf's gonna breed. He's He's got a lot of forward movement, and uh, but he extends his kicks, and he's just gonna be 86 to 88 with a dummy. That's about what he's been. Yeah. But uh, he's a nice size calf, and and I bet he'll make a bucking bull next year. And like I say, he'll you'll be able to buck him early in his three year old year. You'll be able to put a cowboy on him, and but I bet he'd breed good. All right, this uh, next offering here, I think it's a really, really great opportunity to get a lot of athletic ability and special stuff in your program. Uh, it's five straws off of two bulls, so it's going to be a 10-straw package, 44W Stone Sober, 561C Hocus Pocus. If you're talking about athleticism and something that bucks hard and did it all the way through with the dummy rider, the whole nine yards, this is it right here. And uh Everybody knows both bulls, but I'll let HD give you a little more info on what he thought about them. Yeah. No, nah, you know, they're both uh, instrumental to our program, Stone Sober, Hocus Focus, both of them. And one thing that comes to mind when you talk about either one of those bulls is intensity. And, yeah. And they both just would climb, and they at the top of their jump, they broke over and kick. And, 
and they both um, pass that on to their offspring and and sons and daughters of both of them have either been competitive or raised competitive cattle and right yeah they're good property and you can they'll cross well on about anything and uh you know like you said it's a, it's a good opportunity that i think you'll uh, you'll be happy with um with either one yeah and that's one thing on them stone sober's always in running for world champion buck and bull you know mm -hmm. Uh, he's in running for classic, you know, classic world champion as well. He's a sire to 43 C bar chiseled, two time PRCA world champion, and then uh, Hocus Pocus, a world champion himself, and he's produced world champion quality calves. So, yeah. no, they don't do. And like I say, that their intensity, their calves' intensity, and and what's and what's really odd, neither one of those bulls are very good sized bulls. They're both 1300 pound bulls. But yeah. But their calves are big and stout, and and one thing about both of them too, they they do calf pretty good too. So you can get by with, um, you know, if you wanted to do that, you could AI some heifers and stuff, and get, we've got along pretty good doing that. All right, the next lot, um, really special offering in the breed bull sale here uh, to me because I believe this bull can still go both ways. This is eight sixty one F short circuit. Sire by Showtime out of page Z61, a full sister to Crosswire, that is a damn to 561C <coughs> Hocus Pocus. Uh, this bull's been to the PBR finals and um, pretty special bull. And I'll let HD tell you more about him and bucking him and all that good stuff. Yeah, no, he's been there and done that, you know, and he's always been the one that breaks loose and kicks and turns and, and he's, He's always bucked hard, but he's always kind of had a little seat. Like, they didn't stump their toe. They could make a good ride on him. And the bull riders have always liked him. And, you know, the the current world champion sealed the deal on him at the PBR finals last year. You know, he was 90 points on him, I think, at the PBR finals. And, and he'll still do it. He'll turn back either way and kick and buck. And, and he'd be a, be a really good team bull if you got some – some talented bull riders lined up to get on him, but um, and breeding wise, Showtime over uh, Z61, I don't think you can go wrong. And and I've seen some calves by him, really buck. I've never bred him myself, but Brandon Stewart has some calves by him, and and they were awful good. And yeah, they were leggy and really extended and kicked, and they did the deal. I, you can't go wrong either way. Like I say, you got a breeding bull, and he's sound, good to go, and. Still got, a, I bet you got three or four years left in him. And if you want a team with him, you could probably get him back to the finals. He's the NFR type deal. He's he's a really nice bull with a with a career on it going either direction or, or both. Right here is going to be page Z8. Sorry about cross fire hurricane over 10 bar 103, making him a full brother to 10 bar 5 cross wire, classic world champion, PBR finals bull. Uh, had a lot of brothers that went on and did good, and uh, great breeding prospect here. And HD can fill you in on what he is and all everything he's got going on. Yeah, and this Z8. Uh, first off, all of them the Crosswire was a great breeding bull, and and you seeing his sons and daughters still show up, especially his daughters now. But and you'll see that that explosion they just really want to get off the ground and and it's kind of neat and you'll see the the characteristics where uh, those calves will really curl their front feet up when they're climbing up they're with the top of their jump they're still trying to get higher and it's uh then they crosswire did it and a lot of them calves either by him or or out of his daughters have done that and you're going to get the same thing with the z8 they I don't know how many of those things I've bred, but a lot of them, the full brothers of Crosswire, and I've got along with every one of them. And the full sisters with Test Fire, Hocus Pocus, bet, all those yeah. bulls came out of the full sisters and yeah. have been no, outstanding they're just, they're just good property, they really are. And the, and the daughters of Z8 will go on in years to come, you'll hear from them. I, I think it's, it's uh, something to get your hands on. Next lot. Page 2K, sired by 10G Turner Burner, out of a daughter of world champion Manaba. Um, little black bull here. I've had the pleasure of getting to bucking the last few weeks since we've been here. Been really, really good calf. 
and uh, HD can tell you more about him, but uh, he's one that dang sure has caught my eye ever since I've been here. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good size black kid, turn and burner, Manava on the bottom, and just does it in the gate to the right every single time. Kicks hard, pushes off the ground, get, gaining some gears. He's He really wants to buck, and he'll be 90 most of the time. Kicks yeah. right through it and bucks hard. Yeah. Not a hole in him. Just a really nice kid. And as far as a breeder, I mean, on paper here, Turner Burner and Manaba back over cross wired. And he, to me, he's a pretty good size calf. Like, uh, yeah. come come rider time, I mean, his three year old year, I think he'll be ready to go. And like some rodeo guys or y'all guys that want rider bulls, this bull works with the dummy. And I think he'll be ready to go next year at this time. You can be thinking about putting him on the truck, I feel like. Yeah, I know, for sure. He's a big calf. And and he's sensible and handles good and yeah. stands in the box. You can put the dummy on him, wall him around, get him standing just like you want him to. And, and he'll and he'll fire out there and kick and buck. He yeah. ain't, like, he's quiet and handles good. When that gate swings, he comes with it. There ain't no dull bones in him. All right, another special semen package here. Um, 705E Manaba, uh, Charity World Champion. Uh, American Heritage Champion won about everything you can win. Went on the Classic Finals, NFR, PBR Finals, done it all. It's going to be five straws of Manaba, five straws of 39D top shelf. Another bull that worked all the way through and has won at every level. And um, their consistency and longevity is definitely in both of these bulls. Mm -hmm. And I'll let HD tell you more about uh, both of them animals. No, just what you said, that's that's the deal. We bred a bunch to them, and I've got sons and daughters producing out of both these bulls, and and both of them in the PVR finals and the PVR, and you just both of them's the ones you can count on. They've been short round, you know, for two or three, four years now, and like we've touched on a lot, and a lot of guys have, uh, in I think are starting to really uh, pay attention to the longevity and. Right. and some of that and and you know it's there's a fine line between staying as current as you can and then also but getting back in there with these bulls have been on the road two or three years and and you look back at their videos uh their futurity videos and they'd be hard to beat today but yeah yeah i don't think you would i don't think you would beat them today honestly i don't think yeah. Manaba would be uh, right there on the top of the list, and, and yeah. top shelf boat. There, they were that good a kettle, and, and and when you say been on the road two or three years, they were on the road the yearling and two year old year. Right, they've yeah. never not been on the road, right. yeah. and they still buck. You know that's, and I think that's one thing when they can go both ways. Yearling, two year old, still hold up till today. Yeah, um, well, that that's, says a lot for you know, how for much sure. heart and grit they have. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's kind of the one thing that most breeders, I think, look for is a bull that can turn into a ranked bull but was a competitive, you know, two-year-old. Yeah. And there's not a lot of them. Right. And I, you know, and everything is heritable, you know, so that's, you got to think that's going to play into it. Their calves will buck with a dummy and then they'll probably go on to make good rider bull. All right, next lot's going to be 951G, sired by 29A Magic Maker, over a Sweet Pro's Long John daughter, back out of the 255 cow, 255 bar 152. Um, let HD tell you the story on this bull, pretty interesting story, and uh, going to be a great opportunity here to purchase them, yeah. a good one. Uh, this calf really, really bucked as a two-year-old. Uh, Rob Schradle had him in the yearling sale, and Gerald and I bought him, and get quite a little bit of money for him and 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 he was worth every penny of it but he really bucked and i crippled him about a couple three months into the two-year-old season but um and he just never got over it it was just like a little stifle deal and it just never mended completely and he gets around good now he's a big stout good-looking ball-faced yeah. bully you can see some of that 255 cropping out in him and he's a really good mix between magic maker and long john and the 255 cal it's all in there he's a big stout good made calf but he's got that agility and that athleticism from magic maker and 
the size and the kick and the whole deal, he sure enough makes somebody a nice breeding bull. And and like I said, he was going to be a big rank type bull, and he just his career got cut short. But I sure could uh, make somebody a hell of a breeding bull. All right, next lot, really really neat here. Uh, what DNH is offering. D17 Rock of Ages, uh, sire of a 32Y Sweet Pros Bruiser over page Y17, which is a hustler daughter over 255 bar 152. She's a full sister to Y16 Brutus. And Y17 is also the dam to 827F Domino. And this bull has a great story and it's a great opportunity right here. Yeah, man, you, you talk about a specimen and a, a picture of what a bucking bull is supposed to look like. Yeah, and that's D17. And he looks, uh, if you picture Bruiser and then, well, he looks just like he's bred. You picture, yeah. you put yeah. Bruiser and Brutus together and that's what you got. Yeah. And, you know, and I know a lot of people that was around when I cracked Bruiser and Brutus, Brutus out, you know, they were just two big bucking boogers. Yeah. And, uh, their three and four year old deer, they were something pretty special. They were hard they, to they get. won everywhere they went. They, they won hard, first and second. They were hard they to went. get around. Yeah, they yeah. really were. And, and this cow's special, and she put some uh, she put some crap in them. I mean, she does. And I, I really think uh, this bull got crippled. D seventeen was crippled bad, like really bad when he was two or maybe three, and I didn't buck him. I kept him around, fed him for two years and he got better and a little bit better and I bucked him a few times with a dummy and he really bucked just and then he'd soar up just a little bit after I'd buck him and I'd turn him back out for a little bit and get him back up well anyway whatever was bothering him uh it kind of mended I guess a little bit and I got to haul him a, a year or a little better and they marked him 46 and a half bunch he was a big stout hard bucking sucker and uh, he got a bad reputation because they they just didn't want to come get on him. And and sometimes he'd go three or four jumps before he'd turn. But he never got schooled. He never got he never got the opportunity. A lot of them did because he got crippled at an early age. You talk about one that can leap off the ground and kick, and the athleticism is just all there. And I don't think he can buck him anymore. He's got that... That hip, there's one hip that you can see where the cap's knocked down, and he's just he don't he don't move on it just right, and he moves on it pretty good to get on a cow and do whatever job he needs to do there. But yeah. I would, and not even no limitation. I mean limitations. No, there, I, I, I wouldn't say he gets around good enough. Yeah, yeah. Just whatever that is up there, it just won't let him break over and kick and extend like he always did, and. and you know, just the last few times I bucked him, he hadn't had the same intensity and the same deal. And you can tell after you buck him, he's off. You know, you can, he's visibly off. Right. But he can get in a bullfight. He can go up and down them lanes. We run them through and semen checked them and all that, and he moves fine. Yeah. 